We Are the North is an exhibition by Williams Chachet, who shows his recent body of works at Moore House in Lagos. Beautiful illustrations from the northern extraction is what graphic designer Williams Chachet is giving the viewers in his solo exhibition titled We Are the North. It's a series of illustrations um, based on uh, pop art and Afrofuturism. So I mixed um, a combination of uh, po um, Western pop art and traditional elements that we have in Africa here. This exhibition is uh, in a bit to sensitize people um, a little bit or a little bit more about uh, Nigerian history, which these days are, you know, most times forgotten, or a lot of people don't know about uh, Nigerian history. So this is in a bit to get people to do a bit more research and learn about Nigerian history. The illustrator and muralist, who is responsible for many internationally acclaimed works of art, decided to show the world a fun side of the land of his birth, one that is different from the tales of woe coming from some parts of the region. Uh, the vision of this exhibition is to shine more spotlight on, uh, on northern Nigeria, especially with the turmoil that is going on in the north. I think now more than ever it's, uh, a, bit more, it's a bit more important for people to learn more about uh, northern Nigeria. In this series, the artist uses pop art to interpret many subjects which are dear to his heart by using an art movement which involves using imagery from popular culture. He has been able to find a unique way of fusing uh, cultural northern elements and not just cultural northern elements but um, basic elements of our day-to-day -day lives as Africans or Nigerians and fuse it with, you know, futuristic or futuristic or modern elements, you know, and uh, that's very unique in itself, you know. So his pop art expression, as it's called, uh, as I like to call it, uh, is, is something that you don't see around very often. It's very unique in that the pop art is fresh. When somebody is in, in love, you know, when they see uh, butterflies in the, in, the, in the tummy or something, so, but it's, this time you're seeing the butterflies instead of it being in, inside. So. inspires me, music inspires me, um, my environment inspires me, the people around me, you know, the situation I'm in in a, in a particular time inspires me. It's the first time this traveling exhibition will be touching down in Lagos and the team admits that the experience has been rewarding. Not all of the pieces are, you know, of northern influence, like, I, like the name where the north is. Um, the Ife is um, it's a combination of pop art and African sculpture. So I kind of infuse that together to to get that piece. Many people come here for different reasons, but not just to check out the art, but also be inspired, you know, get new ideas and the new, you know, see how people are, you know, pushing the frontier when it comes to art and expression and, you know, and all that, you know, just feed my mind basically, feed my eyes.
This excavation was done in collaboration with Alliance Francais in Lagos and has its site set on other destinations in order to show another side of the north. Nice to see something fun and cultural coming from the north. You can enjoy Art House on any of these platforms. Okay, so I changed my mind and gave you a tiny clue about our artists of the week, which turned out to be Uche Okeke, who played a major role in changing the traditional Uli art and the art scene in general in Nigeria. Right now, we're getting close to the home stretch, but just before we go, there's so much to look forward to when you tune in next week. On the program next week, we see Generations, the future master series, takes place at the My Dream Gallery, Lagos. What we're sending across to young artists is be focused, work hard, you know, build on your skill, develop your skills, slow and steady wins the race. Then in another part of Lagos, the Omenka Gallery, Adiola Balogun brings all sorts of objects to life. You definitely won't want to miss that one. Thank you so much for spending time with us. And I look forward to hearing from you on any of our platforms. I'm Melinda Akinlami. Have a lovely day.